All right, hey guys, uh, welcome to the latest vlog. I've got uh, Chris and Lucas here, and we're actually going to critique the latest uh, E3 2017. First, I'm going to start off with Microsoft. I don't really think they had any strong games that they showed, but uh, that original <coughs> Xbox backwards compatibility is a dream come true. That's what I really want. Uh, even further in a... Uh, and then to go even further than that, in an interview, Phil Spencer did say that their ultimate goal is to have these games on PC as well. So building out this whole Xbox ecosystem, which I think is smart. I think it's a smart thing to do. We're not seeing that many great first-party titles out of Microsoft, I guess, in my opinion. But I think they're laying the groundwork uh, for a foundation of an ecosystem because I think that's where gaming is headed. And I will kind of touch on that with the Sony press conference. So, Lucas, what did you think of the Microsoft press conference? Um, you play a game, but I hear some zombies you don't know. Okay. What did you think of that? It was good. Okay, there we go. All right, so moving on to Sony. Um, so, uh, Sony was a bit weird. God of War looks incredible. Not just by graphics, but by gameplay. Also, Spider-Man looks incredible. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus, like these are neat, awesome games. I think Sony's killed it when it comes to their games. I'm hoping the the quality of the actual gameplay is as good as it looks. Um, another thing they did show was this uh, thing that I forgot what it was called. It uses a cell phone, so you can. So with with this new feature from Sony, is you could play PS4 games multiplayer with a cell phone. I think that's smart in a way. I just don't think they're executing it correctly. I do think. Uh, cell phone connectivity with a console is very important for um, the console manufacturers in the future, and Nintendo knows this, and that's why Nintendo is doing it the way they're doing it. So Sony doesn't have a problem with the install base, but I think they need to look more forward-thinking with their ideas. They're coming out with great titles. They're coming out with ways of things you can do with the PlayStation right now. But long term, they don't really have anything going, and that's going back to Xbox. So with Microsoft, they're uh, they're looking long term. They're building an ecosystem, uh, a platform, uh, a service which there will be a large library of games. How I'm seeing it is Microsoft is creating their expensive, you know, pro gaming platform, and then they have their cheaper S variants. But they have this large ecosystem, so the iterations can come less frequently. Uh, but they have a lot of reason for uh, a consumer to jump on their platform. Whereas, what does Sony have? If you think future with Sony, they're already behind, even with the PS4 Pro. They're not going to be able to play games in 4K and 60 frames per second where the Xbox One X will be able to. So Sony's going to have to soon come out with another platform where uh, Microsoft has already beat them to that hardware-wise. Okay, and as far as services, Sony doesn't even have backwards compatibility. They have some awesome, strong first-party titles with amazing graphics as of now. But what does that mean for the future of someone that wants to be in the Sony ecosystem? This is where I think Microsoft is playing their cards correctly. They might have had a weak first party showing, but they are building out an ecosystem that's going to be attractive to uh, consumers and developers. Nintendo, with their Switch recently, obviously they are doing great. They've had to have some surprises for us, and they did. They delivered Metroid Prime 4 and Metroid uh, Samus Returns. That is my favorite right there, the Samus Returns. That's what I'm most excited about. Um, they also had some other cool announcements I love, like the Kirby, the Yoshi. Nintendo is continuing to put out the games I like to play. Hey, the Wii U had it, even though the Wii U wasn't a success. The Switch is going to have these games. Uh, what's interesting is Samus Returns is on the 3DS. I think that is good because that is a large install base for people to play the 2D Metroid. And if it is successful, that lets Nintendo know a 2D Metroid should be on their Switch platform as well. So, and one last thing I wanted to cover, this kind of goes back to when I was talking about Sony before. There, ah, there's a guy, man, I forget his name. <laughs> Is it Jim Ryan? I don't know, some marketing sales executive I don't recall from before. And this is why it's bad to have marketing and sales people speak. In an interview, I think it started earlier last week, that no one wants to play old games anymore. Which, that's not true. And uh, I think it's sad that Sony has been kind of just ignoring the backwards compatibility that's going on. I mean, we've got Xbox and Microsoft with all this backwards compatibility. So many great games from the past. But it's building up a library. Sony's not jumping on that. Sony is just fixated on 
the current gen. Another thing they, that is interesting is Minecraft and Rocket League are going to be cross-platform multiplayer titles that are not going to work on the PlayStation. You have to have another uh, system for this. this. Again, very smart on Nintendo and Microsoft's part to open their uh, platform for cross-platform uh, multiplayer. Uh, Sony, again, their sales and marketing rep just decided to use crazy lingo, marketing lingo to explain why it's not possible. I understand Sony's a market leader. Sony doesn't need to have a reason for someone to settle with another platform because they can still play with their Sony friends. That's Sony thinking right now. Sony needs to plan out for the future like Microsoft and Nintendo is right now. Um, I, um, I, I didn't talk about zombies yet, but <laughs> I, I, I could some zombies, but I, I play alien game, you can't get the alien game. It's not too bad. It's only have one person. So, but... I I cut some zombies to use a weird but he tends to hit me from the game, but we die. So it's multiple zombies, but if you die, you get some chairs, but you you get a new golden zombie, CB. So I guess um I know Minecraft. Okay, you do. So Minecraft game, they not funny. Careful being funny. I could put them through the toilet and flush I, them. Okay? If you flush me down, it's okay. Okay, he can. So, <coughs> <coughs> hold on. <coughs> okay, now. I'm done. I just coughed. Thank you. Thank you for that, Lucas. Good job on your cover. Oh, I, I must have got some. So, the, the, okay. the, the Mario game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, I, I didn't say the Mario game, but do what? Okay, hold on. So the the last thing that the Sony exec was talking about was he's not afraid of Microsoft's more powerful platform because uh, console developers will develop for the lowest common denominator, and I don't think that's true with this generation. With these consoles coming out at the frequency they are now, um, I really think it's going to be different than how normal con console generations are going to work. Uh, Sony's going to bank on there being console generations. Microsoft understands that it's going to be iterations. So what's going to happen is developers are going to start developing for, uh, you know, I guess the greatest graphical fidelity they can, and they will scale back on the small number of different variances they have, which would be a PlayStation product or a Nintendo product, while be able to deliver uh, maximum that they can on on the Xbox One X along with PC. Um, so, Chris, did you have anything you wanted to? Nope. No, you're good. I'm good. Okay, guys. Well, thanks. That's like my little oh, E3. No, I, I didn't talk to Mario yet. You did. Um, I didn't talk. I yeah, did. remember you said you didn't see it, I, I, and then I, you I, gave a thumbs I, up. I, I, I didn't say Mario, the bag, the bag, the okay. bag. Okay, okay, go. So Mario, you die, but hey, hey, you get the turn off of Mario, you get the new guy. So, hey, you don't let the game Okay, I... great job. Turn All right, guys, done. thanks for uh, watching. I'll talk to you next time.